According to the Rolling Stone magazine, Donald Trump has been calling Republican legislators, pressuring them to pass legislation that would allow him to get out of jail for free if he becomes president of the United States. And according to Aswan Subsang of Rolling Stone on Morning Joe this morning, here's how they plan on doing it. Which is, okay, we need to have the House and the Senate pass a law that makes it mm. an option for former vice presidents or former presidents, wink, wink, Donald Trump, of the United States to have their uh, criminal cases or civil cases moved from uh, certain jurisdictions automatically to federal court. Now, the reason that kind of uh, 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 technicality or protocol would be important for a potential second Trump administration is it would give uh, the Trump DOJ, the, the very m thoroughly modified DOJ, the opportunity to shut that down, which obviously they cannot do now in Manhattan, in Georgia, and in uh, other places like that. So um, this so, is so, just... So basically uh, what you're saying, for the course. is that he, he, he would not... You, you would not have state DAs, uh, state prosecutors being able to bring... Uh, uh, criminal charges against former presidents. Is that is that uh, what what he's trying to do? Well, you would be able to bring the cases, but then it would give um, uh, a former president, when they no longer have the uh, significant immunity and protections of the Oval Office, once they're out of office, having the option to move those investigations, or, uh, those uh, trials, I should say, to uh, uh, mm -hmm. federal court. So Trump is currently a former president, so he obviously does not have those protections in places like Georgia. But if he ever becomes president again, and if this law were ever passed, and if he signed it, he could move something like the Georgia probe to a federal court and then theoretically have it shut down. It's a little bit convoluted, right. but it is a potential get out of jail free card. In well, I don't know if it's convoluted. I think it's pretty straightforward. He just would move these cases from the state jurisdiction to the federal jurisdiction and then just kill them. Basically, it's a catch and kill. Uh, which has been the theme here recently, right, with the hush money trial. But folks, um, you know, when you look at what they've done, when you look at what Republicans have done, um, they've passed three bills since they took over power in the midterms of 2022. They've passed the Limit, Save, Grow Act of 2023, the Secure the Border Act of 2023, and the Parents' Bill of Rights Act. That's it. That's all they've done for Americans. And so... Now they're spinning their wheels on producing and trying to spend time thinking about how they can produce legislation to get Donald Trump out of jail for free and, and make all of these other lawsuits and accountability that go with that, just throw them all away. I mean, that's what they're working on now. You got to be kidding me. So let's just take a quick look at what they've done here, folks. So, um, Here's the H.R. 2811, which is called the uh, Limit Save Grow Act of 2023. So in this, if you can think of anything that has to do as far as a tax credit dealing with clean energy, the production of clean er energy, the use of clean energy in a car, and all those tax credits that go with it, uh, that's what they want to throw out, right? Tax credit for qualified commercial clean vehicles, tax credit for previously owned plug-in electric and fuel cell vehicles, sustainable aviation fuel tax credit. So anything that deals with green energy, they want to just trash it and get it out of there. And, and actually more than that. The second one is the Secure the Border Act. And if you look at that, that's the second piece that they passed. The first provision of that act would restart border wall construction and defund non-governmental organizations that provide services to migrants. Uh, of course, he'd build the wall again, but get this. So the bill's overarching focus on physical barriers and deterrence measures, but not increased numbers of asylum officers or immigration judges, presents a vision of the U.S.'s southern border where people fleeing violence and persecution would be quickly removed without meaningful access to, product, uh, to protection. So as you know, there's an unbelievable amount of cases for asylum that are backlogged, and this bill does nothing to address more immigration judges, which we need to work through that backlog. Why would you need more immigration judges when you're just going to send millions of people back for no reason at all? 
you know, many of these people are working and, and productive as they can be, uh, given the roadblocks that have been thrown at them. But nothing in that bill addresses immigration judges, which, like I said, huge backlog. So th- their version of border control is just to kick millions of people out of the United States. It's chaos, essentially. The second provision of the bill would significantly limit asylum in the U.S. It would ban the vast majority of asylum seekers from requesting protection at a U.S. border facility if they traveled through a third country en route to the U.S. and had not already been denied asylum there. So if you're coming from Guatemala and you go through Mexico, you have to apply for asylum in Mexico, right? As if. And then they're going to charge people $50 $50 to apply for asylum. I mean, these people have nothing but the clothes on their back, right? Okay, so if you don't have the 50 bucks, you're out of here. Uh, and of course, they want to narrow who qualifies for asylum based on their political opinion or membership in a particular group. And they want to say that, well, gang-related activity or a crime, if you're trying to escape that, well, that's that's not good enough. And the bill would roll back safeguards for migrant children. Of course it would. The bill would undermine some of the agreement's most fundamental stipulations, including restrictions on how long kids can be detained, while also limiting access to an existing legal pathway for migrant children. So, in particular, it says the bill would explicitly end the existing presumption against detaining a non-citizen child accompanied by family, making it easier for families with minor children to be held in detention indefinitely. Of course you would. And, folks, the last one that um, they passed was called the Parents' Bill of Rights Act. It allows parents to restrict curriculum uh, in the schools, curriculum that's based on uh, race, gender, LGBTQ issues, of course. You know, it's all this kind of stuff that doesn't help your average American. And then, what's more is, here's an article that's in The Guardian that says Mike Johnson plans Republican-era mega bill ready to push through if Trump wins. So when they're not working on trying to get Trump out of jail for free, they're working on this. Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, is planning a sweeping ideological legislative drive that aims to make Donald Trump the most consequential president of the modern era if Republicans win power in November. A far-reaching bill containing a range of policy priorities at once, including tax cuts worth trillions Border security and rolling back Obamacare, of course, is being prepared to avoid the mistakes the GOP believed happened early in Trump's first term when Johnson says the party wasted time because its victory over Hillary Clinton took them all by surprise. So, yes, of course, they want to put together a bill that enables continuing the Tax Cut and Jobs Act tax cuts for the rich. And, of course, you want to get rid of Obamacare, right, that millions of people actually use and are, are a, a lot of people, if not, uh, you know, a million or so must be alive today because of Obamacare. Had they had Donald Trump's plan, they would have been six feet under by now because there is no plan. We're still waiting on that from Donald Trump. So this is what they're working on, folks. I mean, it's, um, this is just, um, it's abysmal. It's sad. And it's self-serving. All they want to do is help Donald Trump and they want to help the rich with all of these tax cuts, folks. And, you know, you're kind of getting the impression like I am, I think, here that that Donald Trump is making all of these promises all of a sudden at the Libertarian Convention. He promised to commute the sentence of Silk Road founder. Um, he, he promised to put a Libertarian on the cabinet. And just today, he said he's going to put Elon Musk in control of some aspect of immigration. I mean, the guy makes cars. I mean, help me understand what in the hell does Elon Musk know about immigration? I I don't know. I'm not saying that he would be good or bad, but what the hell? Ah, And then this, this text that he sent out, remember that on Truth Social a couple of weeks ago, that if Donald Trump were to gain office again that the Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich would be released because Donald Trump would work with Putin? Well, how about you work today? What's the problem of working, starting working now on getting that reporter released? Why does it have to be contingent on you becoming president? Because that's who you are, Donald Trump. You can't work today on something because it's a, it's a little carrot, 
right? This human life that's out there that's been falsely imprisoned in Russia is your human carrot. Elect me and look at what I can do for Evan. And of course, you know, in addition to that, Donald Trump says he wants to basically give Ukraine to Russia. And then when he's done with that, of course, he'll go back to things like targeting transgender uh, rights and LGBT rights. So folks, it's, um, it's a sad state we're in. So they, in summary, the Republicans have done nothing but pass these, these crap bills. And now all of a sudden they're, they're, it's, it's all about Donald Trump making, making him have no accountability and then enriching the rest of the top 1% of America with, uh, making sure their tax cuts stay in place. Sad.